Hey everybody, in today's video, we're going to be looking at just about everything relating to the custom items on Bricklink. If you go to your market section, this is where you'll find the custom items where you can then select this and go to the next section. There are a lot of custom items on Bricklink. They're broken down into several categories. We start off with sets, parts, figures, books, gear, and so forth. There's a lot of cool things on here and some things on here are actually custom Lego items and others are partials to sets and I'll explain that. For example here, this was under the packaging for sets. I just clicked on this as an example and now I wanna search this set and see what it is. Obviously this set has a listing for the box and I was confused at first, but when we go back and read this custom listing, it says it is for the poly bag for the yellow car only, which is this car and that would again not be a bag that would be a brick link listing, therefore they made it a custom item. Under the custom instructions, I simply clicked on the space and here we have instructions for a custom space set as well as a listing for three classic space instruction manuals. These could have been listed individually. However, this person listed them as three and is wanting to sell them as the three of them combined. Now we can look at other things such as gear. In the gear section, I clicked on keychains and a lot of these actually are Lego products. They exist, but they don't have a Bricklink listing. You know, you could see some of these where they might have a listing now, but originally a set like this or a keychain like that, it did not have a Bricklink listing originally. But if we go and type in that set, we can see now, hey, there is a listing there and it should be properly listed there versus as a custom item. But I guarantee you this person listed it as a custom item prior to Bricklink having that listing. In the gear section, you'll find things like that, keychains, apparel, and so forth. Now we can actually see custom minifigures and I'm just gonna click on the Star Wars section here and show you a few options. We see there's custom backpack pieces that people have listed as a set or a, a minifigure piece. We have figures on here that are incomplete or things that might not have a listing on Bricklink, like those droids, incomplete astromechs, this Mustafar droid, different things like that. As also, you can make custom figures. Interesting ones like this have a different helmet or something like a Saj Ventress. She usually has a skirt or a cape piece. However, you cannot list figures on Bricklink if they're incomplete or don't have all their components. You'd have to list them as parts. And then we see custom listings like this where you have five snow troopers, $25, about $5 a figure. That's not terrible. You know, some cool options. Some stores like having custom items and I really haven't gotten into it. And then we have crazy things like this that were, you know, just a very rare, unique item. Even look at this, you know, the white Boba Fett and uh, the prices for these are insane. But again, there wouldn't be a brick link listing for this. This is a very unique item that only you know, 50 of them were made. And that's why it has this very, very, very expensive price, as you can see. <laughs> And finally, let's check out custom sets and what better sets to look at than custom train sets. When you click on this, you'll see that there are some listings here where this is a partial. This was a part of a train set, you know, a cargo truck, or this is also part of a Lego train set. These are just counterparts. They're not the complete set and they're listed as custom items. Again, with this, and I'll show you something I would, how I would list this differently in just a moment. But again, that's from a train set. Now on here, we do have some really cool custom train cars that people have created. They're actually selling you the whole train car, or if you read it, uh, obviously if it's listed as a set, they're selling you the full set. If it's listed under the custom instructions, they're selling you the instructions for that build and you'd have to get your own parts. But overall, there's some pretty cool custom train cars on here that people have made and that they're listing for sale and they'll actually build them and send them to you. As you can see, you can click here and read extended descriptions to have an understanding of, you know, what are additional costs? What's the lead time on this? You know, how long does it take? And overall, what am I exactly receiving? So it's good to always click on these and read through them if you're interested in buying. And then there are some other random ones on here that are maybe a little out of the price range or, you know, custom Santa Fe sets, uh, complete custom train sets. And, you know, you can tell that it's custom because it's different. It's not the exact set. And they just have a little bit higher prices than I would uh, list it for, or sell it for. But there's cool ones on here. This one I think would go with the Emerald Knight set, if you know what that is. And overall, there are some cool train cars on here. I definitely, uh, I was shocked seeing some of them. And again, if you go to market, custom items, that is how you find that on Bricklink. Now again, look at this set. I would have listed this differently. I would not have listed this as a custom item. Obviously figures, instructions and whatnot can be listed as custom items. But if it's a partial to any Lego set, I highly recommend as a seller that you list it under the set listing as an incomplete set. Some people don't like seeing these listings, but if you're trying to sell it, you're going to have a greater return or a greater possibility of selling it if you list it along with the set that it's originally part of. Because especially if it's a train car, I might look at that and say, hey, oh, I want another oil tanker set. And any of these train sets, you can actually look up 
and find them on BrickLink. If you know what you're looking for, for example, this locomotive, if you type it in properly, it will show up. Now enough about buying custom items, it's time to show you how do I actually list a custom item on BrickLink. It's not that difficult. You go to your My Store, you add item, and whatever you're trying to add, whether it's a set, a figure, instructions, a box, whatever, you click on that and go to the next section, you know, you submit. Now what you want to do is select a category. In this case, I'm just listing a train. This is just a, an example. I'm not actually listing this. So I select train. This is the next important item here. You want to select custom item. When you do that, it should change over your photo. You want to make sure you're uploading your own photo. You want to put in comments. You know, you can put in a bunch of things here. The photo will show a lot, but for me, I'm just putting an example in a large locomotive. We're going to put in a quantity. Do you have one of them? Do you have five of them? How many can you sell? What's your selling price? You could add an extended description. Again, this is where you want to make sure it's selected as upload my own image. That way you can upload a picture of what you're selling. And that's really all there is to it. The rest of this page is the same as listing anything else on BrickLink. You can adjust the quantity. You could adjust whether it's new or used. You can put it in your stock room, which means it won't be for sale or viewable to customers. You could retain this. Retaining it means that if you sell it and you sell out of it, the listing will still be there in your store and you can modify the quantity. Then you get to this next page, you upload a photo, and then you add your item. And that's how easy it is to add a custom item to BrickLink. Well, thank you for checking this out. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and please check out that train video if you want to see something else. Thank you. Lego, my James-o.